So here we have a set of blown capacitors. So what we're gonna do is remove those, put new, some, some new capacitors in. To do that, turn our board over. Line up which ones are bad. In this case, these two here. Take our good hot desoldering bulb. Are good and hot. And suck that solder right out. Push the legs. Right now, and what we have on the other side. There's one capacitor. Just pops right out. These are 6.3 3300 microfarad. All right, so what you wanna do when you put your new one back in is make sure that your stripe, make sure that the stripe of the capacitor is where the solid side, let's see if we can, there you go, see that solid side? You want, you want the stripe to follow in with it, so. Slide that back down and through. ready to be soldered back in. Now the next two in line, the next three in line are actually all blown, so we're going to remove all those as well. loose work. This one's loose now, so we just work it up and out. Alright, see now I've got the legs bent over there. So let's get the next one in line out. I'm just wiggling them back and forth underneath to keep the legs from soldering back into place. You should be able to see how see how they're nice and loose in there now. So, all right, next up will be soldering these guys down. So for that, we break out the trusty soldering iron. Get some flux into all of these. They can pre tune our trusty soldering iron. Then we'll put our soldering iron on one side. Apply 
solder to the other side. It does not take a whole lot. wiggle my capacitors. I mean, if any of them didn't solder correctly, if you ended up with a cold solder joint, you will certainly feel it. Snip off our legs. There you go.